if you get to question 14, people. So I need to set up a DNA with the tubers. And that is if you do get to question 14 on this one. And some of you may very well. So I'm using the green and blue for my double helix strand. And the pole just to turn into my double helix. Okay, and I will submit the video on this one when I get done. They can look at it later. Anna? Okay. So, so this is a tuber representing a double helix of DNA. The blue and the green are different strands. When it's making a replication fork, it's going to, so, open it up, and this is my replication fork. Primates will bind here and the DNA polymerase will start to read, and then it just moves through that replication fork, moving through to read that. And then as it's done, you will end up with another strand, a double strand here. So the replication fork can start in the middle, doesn't necessarily always start at the end, but when it reads, it's actually going to move in both directions to end up duplicating both strands to make two strands of DNA. So this is what your replication fork will look like using the tubers.